Don't stop until you get up. Get up there. I just walked right past that big ball. Within feet, a couple of feet of him. But of course, they wouldn't have them up here if they were dangerous, I don't think. Right then, so, three cows. There's a lot more than that, by the way. I pass on that little path right next to that huge bull. He's only got one horn, that one. The, other, the only one that looked at me was that one. And then there was one standing, and he didn't take any notice of me. In fact, none of them really did. There's only three. I didn't know what I was going to do if they started to react to me. I didn't know what I was going to do. I don't know. It would have been flight across the brambles, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit, bit nerve-wracking. But there could have been a much, much bigger herd than that. I think most of them would be over by a swallet, by a, uh, a, a bog. And right over there, there's a big swamp. I mean, this is a little bit where they can cool their feet here. But not much. I mean, normally, I'm coming up to another, like, little bush here. And normally, this is surrounded by water. This is a very watery place. But it's all dried up very quickly. But there is a little bit of water here. So if the cows migrate here, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Not, I'm surprised not to see more here. Around this little tiny bit of water. Because if you look around, everything's so dry. Everything is so dry. I'm very surprised there aren't more cows. I mean, I might see them in a minute. They might all be round the gate. Oh, a little bit of an oasis for them, isn't it, this? You imagine them wading through that, loving it. They'll be back. They'll know about this place. Wherever they are at the moment, they are sheltering. Well, no, they're not sheltering. What they do, they just sit down and conserve. But that, I would imagine they'll be back here. Absolutely no doubt, because there aren't many places where you're going to get this. Let me take a look. I'm just going to a small video because this is such a gorgeous scene, you know. I've just taken some pictures of daisies growing out of concrete, growing around labels and names. Just growing everywhere, growing on ancient barrows. And look at that view down there, look how lush that's looking. Like always, gorgeous. It's a beautiful farm that. I just love it, I love this walk, you know. I do like doing it. And there's the ancient barrows and then the little one in the middle. It's got bunches of daisies on it. Do you know what I mean? It's got bunches of daisies on it. Yeah. It's really pretty. Very, very pretty. I just had to video this bit because it's sort of harvest time. I mean, they harvest all, around the, all year round now, you know. They got fast growing crops. It's just so gorgeous, you know, today. I don't always video this bit, but I think when it's been cut like this, it it's, it's more defined. The humps are far more defined now, aren't they? These ancient burrows. This is an ancient site here, by the way. This is massive history here. Neolithic, prehistoric, everything. Massive. And look at that gorgeous view. It's one of my secrets. When you come in home, she little Venus, we're all starving. <laughs> Robo arm.
a farmhouse. Gorgeous this is. I can tell you it's quite warm. I'm walking up this road and I think if you walked up it barefoot you'd burn your feet. But I'm actually soaking up the heat. Every bit of it. I love my bones to be warm. And I'm doing steady, I'm walking steady. This is not a march or a rush. Where I can, I, I will stand in the shade for a few minutes. This is probably the only hill I've got to climb now for the rest of the walk. But there is a slight incline. Is it? Or is that the other way round? When I get to Piney Slides, hardly anything. No, this is the hill. I've got to go down a hill though. Got to go down. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It just is so gorgeous. I can't describe how I love this place. Like I love the Quantocks and I love the Mendeps. The thing is, I've, gro I've grown to love the Mendeps because the Mendeps came into my life later, although I always knew Cheddar Gorge. They came into my life later because it was nearer to me. The Quantocks were near to me when I had my van. Of course, they're not near to me if they cut the buses. But I've cycled out here before now. But I'm not. That was 10 years ago. I can feel my weary legs, actually, because... That Quantock walk was massive the other day. And I'd done two Quantock walks in a week. And I'd done some other walk. I'd done the um, Crooks, Peak, uh, Crooks Peak one. So I'd actually done a lot and a sand bay. In just over a week, that is. So my legs are just feeling a bit weary. That's just because I should normally would have had more of a rest period. But the weather's changing. I can't, I cannot afford not to be out on these gorgeous days. I just love that road. It's like the road to nowhere, isn't it? I'm on the road to nowhere. Do -do -do -do. It's the road to nowhere. It's a very, very symbolic, look, this crossroad here. I just love it, you know. I just love this scene. I just love it. I know, up there's the area of outstanding natural beauty. What a beautiful place this is. Oh God, I just can't help but love it all. I love it all, I love it all. Of course, it's, this is getting hotter and hotter. It's not three o'clock yet, right? So, I've come out of the wood now for about, could be going on an hour I suppose. So I've been exposed now for quite a long time. I had a short period up on the top there uh, where I just had another drink and um, I've got a piece of cake in my bag, in my pocket. I'm gonna have a, when I get to the table, um, I'll just check the time, we'll have water. There's no shade there I don't think. And we'll have, um, cake. Then we'll do the last leg back to work cheddar. This is sweltering. It's like being in a sauna. I've been in, I've done, I've had a sauna once or twice. Yeah, when we went to Torquay when Duncan was 21, I took the whole family to Torquay on holiday for a week. 